thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Um, I'm doing a getting ready with me. I'm showing you guys how I do my everyday curl style, which you see right here. And then also doing just like a quick little girl talk, um, talking about everything that's going on today because, I mean, come on, we need to talk about it. Um, so let's get right into this video. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you are new to this channel, I'm Nicole Jackson and I do cold style which is my fashion style along with beauty hair and lifestyle so if that is your vibe which I mean if you're watching this I know it is go ahead and make sure you subscribe to my channel like and comment this video tell me guys what you are feeling about my little talk today or if you're feeling this cute hairstyle um, I'm gonna link what I use down below but uh, what I use to do these curls I'm not sure if they still sell it but I will try to find something more similar um, and let's get right into this video Alright guys, so before we go into like our getting ready with me, I just wanted to show you kind of what I'm doing first. I went ahead and washed my hair and I have some deep conditioner in my hair just, just sitting for a couple of hours. Um, so yeah, you know, if you're a real one, you always do the shopping bag. I mean, um, so I'm going to be using this tool for the first time. It's the Golden Hot Professional um, Volumizer dryer and styler so i received it maybe like honestly a year ago in pr um at my old job never used it so i thought today would be a great day to kind of try this out i usually just use like a regular um a regular dryer and a paddle brush but i'm gonna try this out for the first time so we're just gonna do a cute little fast forward of me drying my hair and then we'll go ahead and start the getting ready with me girl talk portion um because Y'all already know we got a lot to talk about. Let's be real, okay? First things first, rest in peace, suckle fair. For real, you the only father that I ever knew. I get my bitch pregnant, I'ma be a better you. Prophecies that I made way back in the fair. Listen even back when we was broke, my team here Martin Luther King would've been on Dreamville Talk to her, nigga One time for my L.A. sisters You, 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 oh Lame niggas can't tell the difference You, 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 One time for my L.A. hoes You, 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 One time for a nigga who knows You, you, no role models and I'm here right now No role models to speak up Searching through my memory, my memory I couldn't find one Last night I was getting my feet rubbed By the baddest bitch, not Trina But I swear to God this bitch will make you call your girl up And tell her, hey, what's good? Sorry I'm never coming home, I'ma stay for good They hang the phone up and proceed to lay the wood I came fast like 911 in white neighborhoods Ain't got no shame about it She think I'm spoiled and I'm rich Cause I can have any bitch I got defensive and said Nah, I was the same without it But then I thought back Back to a better me Before I was a B-list celebrity Before I started calling bitches Bitches so heavily Back when you could get a platinum plat Without no melody You wasn't sweating me One time for my L.A. sisters You Lame niggas can't tell the difference You one time for my L.A. Oh, you, 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 that leave a tooth crush at your crib, love And you ain't gotta wonder whether that's your kid, love Nigga, I don't want no fits from reality shows Out of touch with reality hoes Out in Hollywood, bring her back five or six hoes Fuck them, then we kick them to the door, nigga, you know how it goes She deserve that, she a bird, it's a bird trap You think about it and rap, she would flirt back Taking off a skirt, let her wear my shirt, but she leave I'ma need my shirt back, nigga, you know how it goes One time for my L.A. sisters There's an old 
saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on me. Okay, it's the next morning. Um, I ended up just wrapping my hair and falling asleep because my sleep, I, I don't know, I've just been wanting to sleep a lot this week. I think from everything that's going on. So I blow dried my hair. It's wrapped up right now. I'm about to take it out. Um, I have my coffee right now. I'm trying to wake myself up um, to do my hair. Alright, so I'm about to take my hair out. So again, it's just blow dryer. So the first thing I'm going to do is flat iron it. I'm just going to flat iron it straight so I can get the roots in and get my hair straight before I, um, before I curl it. Let me just say, okay, using that, um, using, I used that blow dryer yesterday. I want to, I want to say that the pros of it was that it, I do feel that my hair is well combed through. Like, it was, it was way easier to really comb through my, brush through my hair and, and not have to like struggle like I always do with blow drying. But there are some cons. It took like so much longer to blow dry my hair. That was number one. And then number two, I feel like it really didn't get straight. I feel like my hair was still damp afterwards. Um, I feel like my hair is a lot more frizzier than it would. And you know, the whole point of a blowout is to get your hair as straight as possible. So like, I feel like, I mean, and it could be too, like we are in quarantine. It's been a hot minute since I had a trim. So, you know, other reasons, but I do feel like my hair is a lot more poofier than what it usually is okay. all right so this is what my hair looks like so i have this numi flat iron which is my favorite i got it through pr um a lot of people may ask me how i get it through pr i used to work for a hair company so or a hair magazine so we got a lot of product, uh, products through pr um to try to write about so this is i usually use my numi blow dryer to blow dry my hair um, but I tried that golden hot out. Um, but this is my favorite fly iron so far. I love this Numi. It works perfectly. And then I'll show you what I use to do my curls later on. Let's go ahead and really get into doing my hair. So, again, I'm just going to flat iron it straight. Um, that's the main objective first because my hair, number one, my hair is really frizzy right now um and it just offers the good base honestly for flat ironing my hair get right into this talk and let's first address everything that's going on because um as an african-american well now as a black woman a black mother it would be very ignorant for me to not even address everything that's going on right now um first before I address it let me please send let me stop let me send condolences to George Floyd's whole entire family his children um for them to be able to google their father and the first thing to pop up is him being killed from police brutality is heartbreaking to me you know that's the number one thing that bothers me to my core is that that is somewhat his legacy you know that is this man's legacy not what he's done before but him basically being a murderer him being killed off of the stupidest $20 counterfeit 
$20 bill that was accused, right? Um, but him being killed in that video, being a constant reminder how he's being killed and his family having to watch that and having a nation watch that to me is indescribable words so let me first send condolences to his family um i would i i can't fathom growing up without a father um and to his kids and i pray for strength and i pray for love and peace and and i pray for all those things um to get through the years without their father um and let me just also say too, number two, um, everything that's going on now, it's not a spur the moment, one reaction deal. These are years, right? Years, years of some type of, of, of oppression that we've been through that has stacked up and stacked up and stacked up. And with the coronavirus and people being inside and a lot of frustration with that people have time right now okay we have nothing but time and the fact that this keeps happening that built up oppression and, and frustration and anger has built up built up built up to where it's now so monumental and people just want to scream this is why people are reacting the way they are for me i cannot tell anyone how to react i cannot because a lot of people function in different ways but I want people to realize this is what is happening right I want us to I want to I want to know is there like somewhere that we can support is there an outlet that or organization that works with police with you know teaching them to de-escalate conflict in, in, in terrible situations teaching them like conflict resolution teaching them um how to handle people that are outside of their cultural background right T uh helping them screen for qualified police officers and doing more psych psychological screening to see their mindset to see if they could potentially be a threat to their own police force and to the protect and serving they're supposed to do to the general community of people i want to know if there's organizations like that and i really want to help support that right um i send all the 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 prayers in the world to everyone who is out there protesting right now because I think even through the press even through the protests we're seeing some form of discrimination and 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 brutal brutal acts by police right now just by a simple and quiet and peaceful protest and and for the life of me I could not like it disgusted me even to be in DC and to see our president tear gas peaceful protesters to take a picture in front of a church with the bible that i'm sorry that was disgusting and, and that hurt me to my core because that was about that was the most selfish thing i've ever seen in my life but i i just want to send my prayers to everyone who is protesting I want to send my prayers to George Floyd's family um, I'm sorry that it had to be their family but um, I just read something online today that really stuck with me that you know everyone is saying 2020 is canceled but maybe 2020 was that year that we had to go through this rough patch in order to get somewhere you know in order to make some progress in order to you know be a better light and i'm hoping that that is what this is leading towards but yeah it's been really hard just to you know watch the protest i'm not gonna lie to you guys when this first happened and i first saw it it took me a while to kind of address it because you know as a as a single mother i am at home watching my you know my child 24 7 um 
all throughout the day trying to get things done and already you know it's so easy to be mentally exhausted right and to see the stuff that is happening right now it's just it's it's mentally exhausting honestly it's, it's so mentally exhausting and and i've just been trying to savor a little bit of the peace that i can that i can honestly because you know it, it's, it's frustrating enough that this is going on through a whole pandemic right it, it's very frustrating enough that it's it's going on through this um but at the same time, I am a black mother, a black single mother. My child right now is very much a statistic. And I fully, I did a post about it on Instagram. And it gets to me every day that my child is a statistic. It gets to me every day that my child lacks in a lot of areas that people are fortunate enough to have. And now I have to have another worry about if my son leaves the house is he going to make it home and the people that you know I would call if I have a problem that I cannot count on them they may be the cause of my son's death that you know I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't wish that on anyone you know, and I hate that we have to go through this. So I just want to say even to my single mothers out there, black kids, especially black sons, to really stay strong, you know, during this time. This is a trying time, especially for us to really, you know, properly take care of our child by the best of our abilities. And then to see all of this happening and it's just really, it really messes with your mental, right? It, it really affects you. And I, I'm, it's just a lot. And I just want to encourage anybody to, like, if it all is too much for you, do not feel guilty about that. Because the number one thing that you need to support during this time is your mental peace. It, it can be a lot just going on social media every day and seeing people killed, seeing people hit with with tear gas seeing people shot in the face with rubber bullets like a lot of it, it it's a lot and it really messes with you for it to be a constant conversation and then put us in an environment to where we're in the house coronavirus can't go anywhere been in the house for almost two and a half months now you know it's a lot it's a lot for people to deal with so i will encourage you if you're dealing if it's too much for you, take a mental break. I had to Memorial Day, I had to detach from my phone. I spent the day outside with my son just playing. I really had to detach. It's a lot. This weekend, I get to have, you know, a break to myself again. Because um, as you know, I'm taking care of my son by myself. And this weekend, um, my parents are giving me time to myself. Take that time to yourself. Do not feel guilty. You can still support and still take a mental break, even if you're black. But um, I I'm, I'm think I may go out to the protest. I just have to move a little bit more differently, you know. For me, I'm, again, I'm taking care of my son by myself. Any move that I make for myself... I have to think about that with my child like no one else is going to take care of my child but me so at the end of the day my child is my responsibility so do I put myself in a predicament where I can you know I can be in an unsafe environment I can potentially be killed by people you know it's 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 crazy out there it's not just police right now too it's National Guard it's it's worse than DC you know DC is we're by the White House, we're by government buildings, federal agents, it's everyone out there. It's so much more worse than, um, it, it's, it, it's a lot more police than you would expect. <laughs> For me, I have to think, I have to be strategic about what I do. Do I put myself in a position where I can be hurt and then I have no one to take care of my child? I can't necessarily do that, so... 
I mean, don't feel like you have to go out and protest. There are so many different ways that you can help any cause or initiative in the in your house just like I have my son but there's so many other ways that I can help inside my house I don't feel pressured that I need to protest there's so many other different ways that I can help you know with this cause but that's how yeah I just wanted to really um, approach this because it, number one, it would be very ignorant of me not even to approach what is happening with my race because at the end of the day, I am black. Um, and this is something that I'm teaching my son right now. Like, baby, what are, you know, I'm, I'm introducing this, you know, what is your skin color? He said, I'm brown. And I said, I know you're brown, baby, but people categorize that as black. And he says, I know, mommy, but I'm brown skin. <laughs> and... I don't, one thing I don't want my son to be ignorant about is, is, you know, his father is Puerto Rican. I don't, you know, I don't want him to be that, oh, I'm mixed foreign type kid. No, you're black. At the end of the day, when they see you, they see black. It doesn't matter what you're mixed with or your hair type. He, he has that nice fine hair. I understand you have that nice fine hair type, but at the end of the day, you are black. They don't give two fucks about your hair type okay you're black and so right now i've just been teaching my son you know his skin color and teaching him the principle that you know some people don't like skin color and for that reason you know you need to be safe we need to be safe and we need to be cautious um and i plan on you know getting some supporting some i'm probably going to go when they open um, to Bus Boys and Pros, Bus Boys and Poets, and pick up some books, just like educating him on the, you know, our, our ancestral history and, and everything that, um, you know, everything that has, that is going on, so I can really introduce him to, you know, our background of, of, being oppressed and being in slavery and I want him I don't want my son to be very ignorant of that I want him to know and and as someone who went to an HBCU and is well part of you know and, and is getting back into NAACP it would be ignorant of me to not you know address this at an early age and to really teach him his history so that he grows up and knows what it is right I want him to be able to formulate some decisions because at the end of the day, if my son is five, five and six, they get, they get some stuff. They, they get stuff. Now, I don't introduce, I don't allow my son on social media. I don't post him. I don't let him really see my social media. So a lot of the things that other kids see, my son doesn't see and he's not, I, I, I let my son be a child. So... And some things that other kids may know my son is ignorant about because I keep him a child. Like, that's my priority. He's a child and and I want him to live a life without social media. Um, just as I did because, you know, he's, again, a child. Um, so he's very ignorant to a lot of stuff that's happening. But, again, my son is very smart and he knows. He knows, like, he, he knows the basic things um and i will say i think i'm very privileged too because i live in pg county which is one of the most wealthiest predominantly black counties in the world we we are the the wealthiest predominantly black county in the world you know i was taught that as soon as i went to a &T, that's the number one thing they told us oh you're from pg county that's one of the wealthiest places to for black people to live in the world and I didn't realize this until I went to a and 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 they you know they we were known as that PG County wealthy black people pretty girl county that's what they stared like that was our that was where we're from and I, I do want to say like growing up in PG County I am fortunate or even being here now I'm fortunate that I can go running right I can go running outside and not have to worry about someone mistaking me as a criminal because I have black people around me, okay? 
no one is ever going to none of the black residents in my neighborhood when I go running every single day I go running every single day none of them look at me any type of sideways they greet me with a high right I'm very privileged that I get to run outside in a predominantly black county and not have to worry of one about you know someone killing me thinking that I'm a criminal or that I'm going to cause trouble you know growing up in PG County I do want to say that we are very much fortunate I've been around black people my whole life and 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 successful black people my whole life and my parents are you know successful in their rights so I, I, I want to say I'm very fortunate and blessed and thing I know I put on my Instagram I put on my Instagram to completely change topics that I was going to release a skincare video and I was going to release it um I have filmed it <laughs> right but then when I looked at the film I was completely off focus the whole entire film it looks so bad it just looks so bad and then not only that my skin has been going crazy and it's just because, like, admittedly, I've drunk a soda for the first time. And if you know me, I don't drink soda at all. The only thing I drink mostly is, um, I only drink coffee and water. I don't drink juice. I don't drink anything else, really. It's always coffee and water. Um, so I drank soda for the first time just to have it because I want it like a fizzle. And... Yeah, my skin went crazy. Like, I don't know if you can see this right here. My skin went crazy. So, I just felt that I didn't want to shoot a skincare routine with my skin acting crazy. And most of it's too, um, it's because I drank a soda. And then also, I've just been having really bad um, um, period breakouts, basically. Um, or uh, menstrual breakouts. So, I've been trying to kind of really figure out how to lessen that down. So, right now, I've been taking a lot of prebiotic with, um, prebiotic, probiotic with cranberry, which I usually take, and that helps a lot, keeping my pH balanced when I'm on my period. Um, and then I picked up another, um, something else, too, which I'm going to start trying um, maybe tonight, but I really much just trying to get my pH balance together so that when I do come on my period, um, the next time that my skin doesn't, you know, go out of whack. So that's basically been the problem. My skin, like anytime my period comes on, my body just goes freaking crazy and I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm just going to continue flat ironing my hair. And do a little fast forward to the rest and then we can talk more as I'm curling my hair and I can show you kind of how to do that. Okay. Alright love, so I finished straightening my hair. This is the end result. I have to say, um, with that brush, first of all, that let me run that back to that blow drying brush. I should really hurt my hand after a while from blow drying my hair and I just have like after effects feeling like arthritis or something. It's really weird. Um, so I don't know. But I will say it has my hair looking like really fluffy and full. I didn't know um, how I was going to like it when I was straightening my hair because I noticed that it was a lot more fluffy. But I will say when your hair is a lot more fluffy when you... Um, you know, when you do your wand twist, it makes it like a lot more full, which I love. I love fluffy, full um, curls on my head. So I'm just going to walk you through. Everyone asks me how I do my curls on my head when I do them. Um, I've been doing it for years now. Um, and I'm not going to do a middle part always. If you know me, you know I do a side part. Um, and I use the in styler like I know this is old as hell but <laughs> I don't even know if they still have it I kind of broke it so you can't even use the straightening part but I use the barrel and I love the size of the barrel I need to find honestly just like a wand with this size barrel because I don't know what it is but it gets my curls like perfect I do have a barrel wand too from um the new me but it's a lot more bigger so i can use this mostly for like weave i just need to find like a little 
I just need to find like a little barrel like this for my own natural hair but um yeah this is how I've been doing my curls for years people ask me so many times like how do you get your curls like that like it looks so cute and I'm like in styler <laughs> in styler is and it's something i got for christmas one year that my stepfather got me he got me and my mother i'm maybe i think my mother still uses hers but i don't use the straightener part um i just mostly use the uh burl for it so i'm just gonna put my hair in kind of like the the u part that i like or the circle part that i like uh, if you see my past videos, you see that I got the inspiration from Lauren Light. Can we just take a minute? My hair has grown so much. I think I'm going to try to insert an image here of how like I cut my hair. Well, I had to cut my hair because it was breaking off. But my hair has grown so much in a year. And like it's been almost two years. My hair has grown so much. And I will say I've been taking biotin pills um i've been taking biotin pills this whole quarantine and i've also been trying to like sh blow dry my hair a lot less um so that's another reason why i took the weave out because i was having to blow dry and flatten my hair to match the weave especially with shooting and i didn't have that problem last year when working out like i could just throw in a hat but with shooting now this year and like really getting into things like there's too much heat on my hair so i took it out and I've just been wearing like a wash and go for these past like I want to say two or three weeks since I took the weave out. So I haven't put any heat to my hair at all. This is the first time I've had heat to my hair um, since taking the weave out. So my hair, so mind you, my hair was already braided up maybe for like three weeks in the weave. And then I did the wash and go um, and I've been taking biotin pills. So my hair has grown like so much literally right here i have to it though because when i go see my stylist and she trims my hair i know it's uneven so i know like like we already know it's uneven she's going to be cutting a lot of this off and i will say when you're doing this wand curls don't like i don't do i used to do wand curls all the time and that's why my hair broke off this wand curls and my stylist told me like cold stop you know doing the wand curls like it's breaking off your hair so i really slowed down in doing them because like a year i want to say 2016 that drake con controller summer okay wand curls were in my hair all the time but it broke off my hair so um i had to chill with it and um just been doing a lot less wand curls but i do them every once in a while and and also, I love the wand curls um, just with my longer hair. Like, it looks amazing with my longer hair. So, basically, what I do is I do the wand curls. I don't really necessarily have to use um, a glove with this because the barrel, number one, is so small. So, it's not, like, a possibility of me burning it. And I think I've done it for so long. Like, I've never just burnt myself. So, I do the barrel on it. And you see, like, oh, and it's just like a nice, soft, wavy curl on my hair. So I do this all around my hair. And I don't, like, you don't have to do small ones. But because the burl is so small, I like to do small ones. So that it's, you know, each one is really picking up the curl. Um, you know, if I'm doing, uh, you know... If I don't care about it, then I'll just, you know, do a big amount or if I'm rushing. But if I have time, I'll just do long ones. And I like to kind of move it down. Like, oh, you see, I love the way this looks. So I'm going to finish doing this. And then I'm going to come back on because my camera is going dead. And yeah, I'm going to let it charge for a little bit and then come back on. Alright y'all, so I finished my curls. This is what they look like. I haven't even like separated them or really raked them out. I just wanted you to kind of see what it's going to look. So I'm going to kind of rake them out a little bit 
and then so well sometimes I rake them out sometimes I honestly just leave them like this but I am going to kind of like rake them out a little bit to be a little bit more messy and frizzy and then do my baby hairs um but yeah let's just go ahead and start it Alright guys, so this is the finished look as you see, like my curls are nice and full. I just plucked it out. I love it to be like nice and I, I like frizziness on my hair. I don't like it when it's like really like tight and, and, and just weird. I love it when it's like frizzy and it's like it looks like next day hair but it's just like really effortless curls. So I kind of plucked it out, did my uh, baby hair and yeah this is my everyday curls. Like I said when I do it tomorrow it will uh, well, when I wrap it and then wake up tomorrow, it will be more of like this texture. This is what I love. Just like really loose wave curls rather than these are like a lot more tighter on this side. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Having a little girl talk, talking about, you know, just important things that are going on today. And also just about life, sis. I mean, these are things that we need to be discussing. And I'm hopefully, um, I want to use my platform to do so. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.